So I actually decided to call Nintendo and personally ask them about uh, content ID claims uh, on YouTube videos when something is related to Nintendo. Because I should not be getting claims on unboxing videos and reaction videos. And speaking of Let's Plays, I'm still avoiding to do Nintendo Let's Play mainly due to these problems. However, this might change, might not, depending how it really is. Now I'm just testing it. I'm gonna give them a call again if something goes wrong. Um, but uh, this is basically what it is. So, we all know that YouTube uh, says that content ID and claims function like that. Uh, like this. Uh, person uploads video, their content ID system automatically detects like a claim. By the way, the system does not know how to di how to difference between uh, fair use and stealing, so that's the main problem, and uh, it it's gonna it's gonna automatically claim the video even if it's fair use or anything uh, doesn't really matter. Just they're, they're gonna automatically claim it. So that's the that's how it is. So the moment I upload Nintendo related video, it gets auto claimed by system. But now there comes a dispute process. Dispute process is, according to Google and YouTube, a process where an uh, uploader has uh, like an option to claim that his video was uh, either fair use, either that it was public domain, either that he had uh, written permission, either that it's 100% original content, and depending what kind of video it is, you select the right option, file a dispute, and click submit. That's when Nintendo, in theory, should be informed about the dispute, they should check out the video, see that the video is fair use and not stealing from their channel, and release the claim. But, uh, according to Nintendo, that's not how it goes. Uh, I was actually talking with them on the phone, with a recording to prove later on when I just finished talking about this. Uh, I was talking with them and... Uh, they told me that it's all automated systems, so like a few days before 30 days uh, expired, because if uh, n not, no one responds in 30 days, it's automatically gonna be released and my video is gonna be fine, but like a few days before the deadline, it, the dispute was rejected. And they tell, and they're telling me that that's some part of a system, and that, re and that it was basically not a human person that did that, but just like, uh, like a robot basically, which is uh, completely different on how uh, Google says it is. Because when you dispute, a person, an actual person, should review the video from a company that claimed it, and they should decide is it uh, is it fair use or not. Now, the first thing I thought is uh, they, they probably checked it out and they didn't even watch the video. I mean, they, they just checked the email and see that somebody disputed and they automatically rejected because they, they just uh, don't want to deal with watching the video and deciding and stuff. But they're, they're like telling me that that's not the case. So right now what they told me is um, that I should... Uh, Appeal. That's already what I did. I basically told them that I now appeal the video, so it's more waiting. And they are they, they they told me the process can't go any faster, and that this is the only way it can go. So that this is now the deal. If the video now the, the appeal process is it either gets normal restored or taken down. They they have less option to choose. So if it gets taken down. Uh, they're definitely lying and they're like uh, telling or maybe again they somehow can maybe they somehow can figure their system to automatically reject everything so they don't have actual person checking on that which is again uh, wrong but then again then if that's the case I'm just going to submit a counter notification uh, because I didn't notice that uh, Nintendo only time they actually flag down the video is uh, if people are uploading uh, leaks before games are released, like uh, like a spoilers, like something that was not even officially confirmed, like it was the case with Smash Brothers, that's uh, that's the thing uh, that I noticed. That's the only time they took down the video. Like with all those let's plays and stuff, uh, they were doing it at the beginning, like in 2013. But later, I read some articles and it seems that they stopped doing it, they like submitted retractions for those videos, they got restored normally, so 
uh, this is all confusing. They're claiming that this is now, but they told me it's the system, and they didn't even tell me it's their system. They just said it's it's the part of it's on the YouTube. So either they or Google are lying about the dispute process. So uh, that's pretty much it. I, I don't know what to, what else to say. But if I'm doing a Nintendo Let's Play, I'm mostly going to keep all the videos like like on private and dispute and appeal one by one. And then, if uh, when all of the problems are resolved, I'm going to make uh, videos not be private anymore and just release them live so that the views can go on when the video is monetized. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the only way I could do let's plays of Nintendo games. Uh, as for this, here is the call. Here you you can you can just uh, hear it for yourself how how this call went, what they said, and you be the judge uh, what happened. Please know that anything uh, private from conversation would be of course edited out and I'll just replace it with something uh, more interesting. Thank you for calling Nintendo, this is David. Can I get your name and email please? My name is John Smith and my email is why the fuck do you care at gmail.com Okay, I'll put that in real quick. Uh, Okay, so I would like to talk uh, about a problem I have been facing on my YouTube account with the same uh, e registration email regarding Nintendo because I uploaded uh, two videos and they they currently have some issues regarding the both videos are clearly uh, transformative and fair use. Uh, it's not copyright infringing because I didn't upload like a stock footage or some trailer or something from the Nintendo official channel. You you could check both videos and see that it has my voice, my recordings as well. And according to YouTube, fair use videos are allowed. You can check in a copyright section, but they're claimed by Nintendo. So I decided to call and ask: uh, Is it? I like press the dispute claim option. And now currently one video is waiting. It was first rejected, but now I'm still waiting for an appeal. The second was uh, rejected and I'm gonna appeal after I see what's with the first video. So I decided just to call to ask if, it can, if the process can be like uh, speed up or something. That's probably what you want to go to our forum. Uh, no, I'm glad you called in about that. I'd be more than happy to assist you here. Um, yeah, there's no actual way to speed that process up. It just has to go through its, you know, uh, tinder there. But uh, Okay, but I have a question because I did a unboxing video of a Nintendo Wii U system and that unboxing video was claimed by Nintendo automatically as, uh, after upload. So it was probably YouTube's automatic claiming system to protect the copyright. Yeah. I know that. Yeah, exactly. And I, yeah. And I disputed th this and said the video is fair use and Nintendo actually rejected my dispute for the video. So my question is why was dispute rejected? I think it has to do with the system being involved. So you so you say that that it's it was not like the actual person rejected the dispute, but that it was a system that rejected it. Yeah, exactly. So now that I appealed the video, uh, it should be all right after some after like a month waiting, because now the email that I got the confirmation from YouTube, they said that Nintendo is now gonna decide if they're going to take down the video or the claim is gonna be released. So I really hope that the video is not gonna be taken down because it's unboxing video, nothing like infringing, like uh, like just the uh, uploading trailers or something from Nintendo's channel, like stealing. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, no, definitely. I mean, if you and if you think you're in the right there, I, you know, I'm sure they will realize what's going on and. Uh, basically let it up you know let it go but from here I just it's just a matter of time of how you know when that can be said well, so just, a question, just a, a question because this can be resolved if uh, do you have like access to Nintendo YouTube channel because uh, you're from customers support do you have maybe access to YouTube Nintendo's YouTube channel like uh, to go in a main menu because if you click uh, submit I, retraction, you could like uh, do it right now and uh, help my videos. Well, I, I don't actually have the means to do that. That's why it has to go through the process um, on their end for that to happen. So there's no, actually no way I could actually, you know, get into that from here.
Oh, okay, I understand. So it's all just a waiting game, and if I'm in the right, it's gonna be restored. Ex exactly, exactly. Uh, thank you very much for clarifying that for me. It, it really helps. All right, sir. Well, uh, thanks for calling Nintendo, and you have a great day, all right? Okay, you too. Bye. There we have it, people. So definitely someone is lying. Either Nintendo or Google, because... You heard the guy, he, sa he said uh, that it's uh, it's YouTube process and not something uh, they decide and they say if I'm in a right I should just uh, just wait. So let's see how the appeal is going to turn out. Maybe, maybe they're really not going to flag it, I don't know, we just need to wait. Uh, maybe it's, it's probably either going to be 30 days past and everything restored or it's going to get uh, flagged. Uh, I don't know, but whatever the case is I'm just going to send a counter notification and... Uh, with this uh, tactic they have, even if, let's assume, for example, for example, they, they're lying, uh, let's assume just, I'm not saying they're lying, it's just what if, uh, like, a situation, so, uh, let's say some popular YouTuber who has way more uh, views and subscribers than me, uh, gets uh, videos uh, claimed by Nintendo, and because Nintendo claimed the video, he that he's not earning uh, uh, money from those videos and he he's angered by that and he wants to take a legal action upon Nintendo well that's gonna be a problem then because if something in a, in a court like this happened Nintendo would probably also claim that it's uh, Google's fault and then the only way would really be if that person was trying to take legal action upon Google which is of course pretty much impossible to be done considering it's a Google we're talking about, so I don't know, but maybe Nintendo really is not lying, uh, maybe they really have no control over those disputes, uh, I don't know. Well, we all we know they registered the uh, content ID in order to protect it from real infringers because people were uploading uh, like like a cutscenes, spoilers and whatnot before the game release dates. Not even for the Smash Brothers, this was a long time even. Even before 2013 people were uploading everything and spoiling the games and stuff. And um, developers are not liking that, like... Uh, like uh, are th Did those people who were doing those stuff like spoiling and ruining games, did they even make the game? Do they know how they that feel? So I kinda understand that they want to protect that, but... I do agree that the Google system is uh, really bad because it does not uh, difference between uh, fair use and uh, infringement, so they automatically treat it as its uh, infringement. They uh, basically on YouTube you are guilty until proven innocent, and that's something that is bothering me uh, for um, for quite some time because all this the, this whole process is complicated as hell like to just release a video like I I'm sure Nintendo for example the popular Nintendo Let's Players like Nintendo Capri Sun I'm freaking 100% sure that Nintendo is not against his videos and that they do not uh, think that those videos are uh, infringing their rights because uh, those are just Let's Plays for fun and they're making they're, it's basically free advertisements so uh, I'm, I'm sure they're not uh, like uh, angry or anything is so I don't know probably it's a little bit of both Nintendo and Google's fault probably more Google than Nintendo I, I don't know but so there you have it so if you have some videos that were rejected uh, by uh, Nintendo uh, like you disputed them and dispute it was rejected uh, appeal them uh, you can see from the call and if something happens like if that if the video gets taken down I'm gonna submit counter notification for sure but I'm also gonna call Nintendo again and tell what happened just to see what's gonna be their response of course if the video gets taken down if not then everything is gonna be alright I suppose well that's pretty much it for this video hope you enjoyed and I hope this clarified a few things Ziamatani.